World War II, a young Soviet boy, merely six, steps into a role so unfathomable, it challenges our very understanding of childhood and warfare. This tale isn't a work of fiction, but the real-life saga of Sergei, a child soldier whose extraordinary experiences in the world's deadliest conflict rewrite the pages of history. Ready to dive into his incredible journey? The outbreak of World War II and its impact on the Soviet Union. World War II, a global conflict that erupted in 1939, reshaped the world in ways unimaginable. Its genesis lay in the ashes of the First World War, with unresolved conflicts and burgeoning nationalistic sentiments. The war officially began when Germany, under Hitler's aggressive expansionist policy, invaded Poland. This act of aggression drew immediate responses, with France and Great Britain declaring war on Germany. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. The world watched as nations aligned, forming two major factions, the Allies and the Axis. In the Soviet Union, the atmosphere was tense but hopeful. The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, a non-aggression treaty between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, signed in August 1939, had promised peace. However, this peace was short-lived. In June 1941, breaking the pact, Germany launched a massive invasion into Soviet territory, Operation Barbarossa. This invasion was unprecedented in scale and ferocity, marking a turning point in the war and bringing immense suffering to the Soviet people. The German invasion caught the Soviet Union off guard. Despite the Red Army's vast numbers, they were ill-prepared for the swift, brutal advance of the Wehrmacht. Towns and cities fell, and the Soviet military suffered devastating losses. The war was not just fought on battlefields, but also affected the lives of millions of civilians. The Soviet Union, under Joseph Stalin's regime, found itself fighting a desperate battle for survival. This period was characterized by intense and widespread suffering, Families were torn apart, and countless lives were lost. The Soviet Union, known for its harsh winters, added another layer of challenge to both the invaders and the defenders. The war on the Eastern Front was brutal, not just in terms of military engagements, but also in the humanitarian crises it spawned. Food shortages, bombings, and the constant threat of occupation became a daily reality for many Soviet citizens. Amidst this chaos, the story of young Sergei begins to unfold. Born between 1934 and 1936 in a small forest village in the Kaluga region, Sergei's life was relatively peaceful until the war reached his doorstep. His father had passed away before the war, and his two elder brothers were conscripted, leaving him with his mother and another brother. Their village, Green, soon became a focal point in the war, a base for Soviet partisans. The impact of war on children was profound and far-reaching. Children like Sergei were suddenly thrust into a world of violence, uncertainty, and fear. The war robbed them of their innocence and childhood, forcing them into roles and experiences no child should ever face. In the summer of 1942, tragedy struck green. The German forces, advancing through Soviet territories, reached the village. A fierce battle ensued between the partisans and the invaders, ending in a German victory. The aftermath was gruesome. The victorious forces began executing civilians, accusing them of collaborating with the partisans. It was during this dark time that Sergei's life took a dramatic turn. His mother and brother were brutally killed right before his eyes, a trauma that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Fleeing for his life, Sergei found himself alone in the vast, unforgiving forests, vulnerable and scared. This marked the end of his childhood and the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would see him join the ranks of the Soviet army as one of its youngest soldiers. Discovery in the Forest Sergei's Early Life Nestled deep within the dense forests of the Kaluga region lay the small, unassuming village of Green. Here in the early 1930s, a boy named Sergei was born into a world that was yet to be scarred by the horrors of a global conflict. His early life, much like that of any other child in the village, was filled with simple joys and the mundane routines of rural living. The son of a modest family, Sergei's father had passed away before the outbreak of the war, leaving his mother to raise him and his siblings.
Life in Green was not easy, but it was peaceful. Sergei spent his days playing in the woods, helping his mother with chores, and listening to stories from the elders. These were the moments that shaped his early childhood, a brief period of innocence before the war's shadow loomed large. When World War II erupted, it seemed like a distant thunder, far from the quiet life of Green. But as the war progressed, its effects rippled through every corner of the Soviet Union, reaching even this secluded village. Sergei's two elder brothers, like many young men of the era, were soon called to serve in the Red Army, leaving behind a palpable void in the family. 1942 marked a pivotal year in Sergei's life. The German forces and their relentless push eastward reached the village of Green. The ensuing battle between the German army and Soviet partisans was fierce and unforgiving. The villagers, caught in the crossfire, suffered immensely. Sergei's world turned upside down when he witnessed the brutal execution of his mother and brother Pedja by the Germans. This traumatic event forced Sergei, barely six years old, to flee into the dense forest for survival. Alone and terrified, Sergei wandered through the forest, a child lost amidst the chaos of war. His journey was a harrowing ordeal of survival against insurmountable odds. The forest, while a refuge from the immediate dangers of war, presented its own set of challenges. Hunger, cold, and fear were his constant companions as he navigated through the woods. Sergei's resilience during these days was extraordinary, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a child facing the unthinkable. It was during these aimless wanderings that Sergei's life took another dramatic turn. In August 1942, a group of Soviet soldiers from the 142nd Guards Rifle Regiment, engaged in reconnaissance, stumbled upon the young boy. They found Sergei on the brink of death, his small body ravaged by hunger and exhaustion, his spirit shaken by the brutalities he had witnessed. The soldiers, many of whom were hardened by the horrors of war, were moved by the sight of this young boy in such a dire state. Despite the relentless pace of the war and their own struggles, they took Sergei under their wing. The compassion and empathy shown by these soldiers were a rare glimmer of humanity in the midst of the overwhelming inhumanity of war. Sergei's integration into the regiment was gradual. At first, he was silent, the trauma of his experiences rendering him speechless. The soldiers, understanding his pain, gave him the time and space to heal. They provided him with food, shelter, and most importantly, a sense of belonging. In the regiment, Sergei found a new family, one forged in the fires of war. Under the care of Major Mikhail Vorobiev, Sergei began to regain his strength and slowly his voice. He would later recount how the soldiers became his brothers in arms, his protectors, and his mentors. They taught him basic survival skills, shared their rations with him, and treated him with a kindness that he had thought was lost in the world. Life and survival in wartime. The adoption of Sergei into the 142nd Guards Rifle Regiment marked the beginning of a new, albeit harsh, chapter in his life. The reality of war, often brutal and unforgiving, was a stark contrast to his early childhood in the peaceful village of Green. Yet, amidst the chaos and violence, Sergei found a semblance of family and purpose. The Red Army during World War II was a formidable force, tasked with the colossal responsibility of defending the Soviet Union against the German invasion. Life in the army was challenging, characterized by relentless training, strict discipline, and the constant threat of enemy attacks. For a child like Sergei, these conditions were overwhelming, yet he adapted with a resilience that belied his tender age. Sergei's daily life in the regiment was far from ordinary. He started by performing small tasks, delivering messages, assisting in the kitchen, and helping with supplies. These tasks, though seemingly mundane, were crucial to the functioning of the unit and provided Sergei with a sense of belonging and purpose. The soldiers, in turn, took a liking to the young boy. Admiring his courage and determination, they became his protectors, teachers, and in many ways, his surrogate family. As Sergei grew more accustomed to military life, his responsibilities increased. He began participating in more significant tasks, such as delivering ammunition and supplies during battles. His presence on the battlefield, a mere child amidst the chaos of war. 
was a poignant reminder of the conflict's far-reaching impact. The reality of war was not lost on Sergei. He witnessed firsthand the brutalities and tragedies of the conflict. The sounds of gunfire, the explosions of grenades, and the cries of wounded soldiers were a constant reminder of the dangers that surrounded him. Yet, amidst this turmoil, Sergei's spirit remained unbroken. He developed an understanding of the war far beyond his years, recognizing the importance of each soldier's role in the larger struggle against the enemy. The bond between Sergei and the soldiers of the 142nd Guards Rifle Regiment was a unique aspect of his wartime experience. They treated him with a mix of affection and respect, acknowledging his bravery and resilience. Major Mikhail Vorobiev, in particular, became a father figure to Sergei. He ensured the boy's safety, provided him with emotional support, and taught him valuable life lessons. Sergei's adaptation to military life was remarkable. He learned to navigate the complexities of the army, understanding the chain of command and the importance of discipline. His ability to remain calm under pressure and his eagerness to contribute wherever he could endeared him to the soldiers. In many ways, Sergei became a mascot for the regiment, symbolizing innocence and hope amidst despair. The psychological impact of war on Sergei was profound. Despite his brave facade, he was still a child, vulnerable to the traumas of war. The soldiers, aware of this, often shielded him from the moor, harrowing aspects of the conflict. They provided a sense of normalcy whenever possible, sharing stories, playing games, and celebrating small victories with him. These moments of camaraderie and warmth offered Sergei a temporary escape from the harsh realities of war, the youngest soldier, battles and bravery. As the war raged on, Sergei, the boy who had once roamed the forests of Kaluga, now found himself in the heart of some of the fiercest battles of World War II. Despite his young age, he played a role in these historical confrontations, displaying a bravery that would leave an indelible mark on the soldiers around him. One of the most significant battles Sergei participated in was the Battle of Stalingrad, a turning point in the war and one of the bloodiest battles in human history. The city became a symbol of Soviet resistance, a place where the Red Army stood its ground against the relentless German onslaught. For Sergei, Stalingrad was more than a battlefield. It was a test of his courage and resilience. In Stalingrad, the horrors of war were on full display. The city, once a bustling metropolis, was reduced to ruins. Amidst this apocalyptic landscape, Sergei, not more than a child, navigated the dangers with a presence of mind that astounded his comrades. He delivered ammunition and supplies to the front lines, often under heavy enemy fire. His small stature allowed him to move swiftly and undetected through the rubble, making him an invaluable asset to the regiment. Sergei's acts of bravery were numerous. One notable incident occurred when he discovered a group of German artillery spotters hidden in a hayloft. Realizing the threat they posed, Sergei quickly informed his commanders, leading to their capture. This act not only showcased his alertness, but also his understanding of the strategic aspects of warfare. Another instance of Sergei's bravery was during a heavy bombardment. Major Mikhail Vorobiev, Sergei's guardian and mentor, was trapped under debris following an explosion. Despite the danger, Sergei refused to leave his side. He ran through the chaos to get help, leading soldiers back to rescue the Major. This act of loyalty and bravery was not lost on the soldiers of the 142nd Guards Rifle Regiment, further cementing Sergei's reputation as a courageous and dependable comrade. For his actions, Sergei received commendations and was awarded medals for his bravery, an extraordinary recognition for someone so young. These accolades, however, were not what drove Sergei. His motivation stemmed from a deeper place, a desire to contribute to the war effort and a sense of duty towards the soldiers who had become his family. Sergei's experience in the war was not without its challenges. The physical and emotional toll of the conflict was immense. He witnessed the loss of comrades, the suffering of the wounded, and the devastation wrought by the war. These experiences left a deep imprint on him, shaping his perspective on life and humanity. Despite these challenges, Sergei's spirit remained undaunted. His resilience in the face of adversity was a source of inspiration to the soldiers. He became a symbol of hope and innocence in a world torn apart by conflict. 
His presence reminded the soldiers of what they were fighting for, a future where children could live in peace and not on the battlefields. War through the eyes of a child. War, a phenomenon typically associated with adult warriors, takes on a different hue when seen through the eyes of a child. For Sergei, the young soldier of the Soviet Union, the battlefield was both a terrifying and transformative arena. His unique perspective as a child amidst the horrors of World War II offers a poignant insight into the impact of war on the young mind. Sergei's war was not just about guns and battles. It was a journey filled with a spectrum of human emotions, fear, loss, camaraderie, and even moments of joy. The innocence of his early years in the village of Green contrasted sharply with the grim realities of the war front. Each day brought new challenges and experiences that shaped his understanding of life and humanity. The brutality of war was an ever-present reality for Sergei. He witnessed scenes that no child should ever see, the agony of wounded soldiers, the grief of losing comrades, and the relentless destruction wrought by the conflict. These experiences exposed Sergei to the darkest aspects of human nature, forcing him to confront the realities of death and suffering at a tender age. Despite these hardships, Sergei's perspective on the war was not solely defined by its brutality. He also witnessed extraordinary acts of bravery, kindness, and solidarity among the soldiers. The camaraderie he shared with his regiment provided a sense of belonging and purpose. Sergei's interactions with the soldiers were not just about learning to survive, they were about understanding values such as loyalty, sacrifice, and courage. The war also accelerated Sergei's transition from childhood to adulthood. He developed skills and traits that were far beyond his years, resilience, adaptability, and a mature understanding of the complexities of war. His role in the regiment, though born out of necessity, became a source of pride and identity. Sergei was not just a passive observer, he was an active participant, contributing to the war effort in his own way. Sergei's childlike curiosity and perspective brought a different dimension to the regiment. His questions, observations, and even his playful moments provided a respite from the grim realities of war. He reminded the soldiers of their own families and the normalcy they were fighting to restore. In a way, Sergei served as a bridge between the harsh world of war and the forgotten world of innocence and peace. The psychological impact of war on Sergei was profound. The constant exposure to violence and death, the high-stakes environment, and the burden of responsibility could have overwhelming effects on a young mind. Yet, Sergei displayed remarkable psychological resilience. His ability to find moments of normalcy, maintain a sense of hope, and bond with his fellow soldiers helped him navigate the mental challenges of war. Sergei's story also sheds light on the broader issue of children in armed conflicts. It raises important questions about the loss of childhood, the ethical implications of child soldiers, and the long-term psychological effects of such experiences. Sergei's resilience and adaptability are commendable, but they also underscore a troubling aspect of war, the forced maturation and loss of innocence of its youngest participants. The aftermath of war, life post-conflict. As World War II drew to a close, leaving in its wake a world forever changed, Sergei, the child soldier of the Soviet Union, faced the daunting task of rebuilding his life in a post-war reality. The transition from a wartime existence to a peacetime world posed unique challenges for Sergei, who had spent his formative years on the battlefields. The end of the war did not immediately translate into peace for Sergei. The trauma and memories of the conflict lingered, casting long shadows over his life. The process of readjusting to civilian life was a complex and gradual journey, fraught with difficulties that stemmed from his unique wartime experiences. For Sergei, the immediate post-war period was a time of reflection and adjustment. The sense of purpose and camaraderie he had experienced in the army was now replaced by a sense of uncertainty and isolation. The regiment, which had become his family and his home, was disbanded, and the bonds forged in the crucible of war were stretched as soldiers returned to their pre-war lives. Sergei struggled with the loss of his wartime role and identity. He had grown accustomed to the structure and discipline of military life, and finding his place in a peacetime society proved challenging. The skills he had acquired during the war were not easily transferable to civilian life, leaving him to navigate a world that seemed both familiar and foreign. The psychological impact of the war was profound and long-lasting for Sergei. He carried the scars of the conflict, both visible and invisible. The horrors he had witnessed and the responsibilities he had shouldered at such a young age left an indelible mark on his psyche. Like many veterans, Sergei grappled with memories and emotions that were difficult to process and understand. 
Despite these challenges, Sergei displayed remarkable resilience in facing his post-war life. He channeled the determination and adaptability that had served him well during the war into his efforts to rebuild his life. Sergei's journey post-conflict was a testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. One of the most significant steps in Sergei's post-war life was his education. Recognizing the importance of education in shaping his future, Sergei pursued his studies with the same zeal he had shown on the battlefield. He enrolled in the Suvorov Military School in Tula, a decision that reflected his continued connection to the military and his desire to build a life grounded in the discipline and values he had learned during the war. Sergei's time at the Suvorov School was a period of personal growth and intellectual development. The structured environment of the school provided him with a sense of stability and direction. He excelled in his studies, driven by a desire to make the most of the opportunities that peace had afforded him. The school also offered Sergei a space to process his wartime experiences, surrounded by peers and mentors who understood the complexities of his journey. After graduating from the Suvorov School, Sergei continued his education at the Kharkov Law Institute, this choice of career path was indicative of Sergei's evolving perspective on life and society. Law, with its emphasis on justice and order, appealed to Sergei's sense of right and wrong, shaped by his experiences during the war. Sergei's life as a student and later as a lawyer was marked by the same qualities that had defined his time as a soldier, determination, resilience, and a strong sense of duty. He approached his studies and his work with a seriousness and commitment that earned him respect and admiration. However, Sergei's journey was not without its struggles. The shadow of the war continued to loom over his life, manifesting in various ways. Sergei battled health issues, a legacy of the physical hardships he had endured during the war. He also struggled with the emotional weight of his experiences, a common plight among war veterans. Reflections on History and Humanity the story of Sergei, the young soldier of the Soviet Union, transcends the boundaries of a mere wartime narrative. It embodies profound reflections on history and humanity, offering insights into the complexities of war, the resilience of the human spirit, and the indelible impact of conflict on individuals and societies. Sergei's journey through the cataclysmic landscape of World War II presents a stark illustration of the war's far-reaching effects. His experiences shed light on the often overlooked stories of countless children who are swept into the maelstrom of global conflicts. Sergei's story is not just about individual heroism or survival. It is a poignant reminder of the broader human cost of war. The impact of Sergei's experiences as a child soldier extends beyond the personal. It raises critical ethical and moral questions about the involvement of children in armed conflicts. Sergei's story forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about the nature of war and its ruthless disregard for innocence and youth. It prompts a deeper examination of the responsibilities of societies and governments to protect their youngest and most vulnerable members. Sergei's narrative also offers a unique perspective on the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. His ability to endure, adapt, and find a sense of purpose amidst the chaos of war is a testament to the strength of character and the capacity for resilience inherent in all of us. His story is an inspiring reminder that even in the darkest of times, individuals can rise above their circumstances and forge paths of growth and recovery. Moreover, Sergei's life post-war highlights the challenges of reintegration and adjustment for veterans, particularly those who experienced war at a young age. The difficulties he faced in transitioning to civilian life underscore the long-term consequences of war on individuals. It emphasizes the need for comprehensive support systems for veterans, including psychological care, education, and assistance in reintegrating into society. The narrative of Sergei also contributes to our understanding of the collective memory of war. His story, and others like it, form an essential part of the historical record, offering personal insights into events often described in broad strokes. These personal stories add depth and nuance to our understanding of history, reminding us that behind every historical event are individuals with their own unique experiences and perspectives. Sergei's experiences during and after the war also reflect the broader societal impacts of conflict. The war altered the course of nations and reshaped the global landscape. For the individuals caught in its wake, like Sergei, the war was a transformative experience that influenced their views on identity, patriotism, and the meaning of service. His story provides a lens through which to examine the impact of war on national identity and collective consciousness.